Hello Grumpy, so this is my reaction to episode 6 of The Rings of Power. The Rings of Power which ain't got no fucking Rings of Power in it. Uh, there's four basic plot lines in this show. Uh, the first is Lady Boss Galadriel. The second one is Legolas the Brown. The third one is Gandalf, or maybe not Gandalf. And the fourth one is Laurel and Hardy. None of these plot lines have got any bearing on the Rings of Power because there's no Rings of Power in the Rings of Power. Uh, but the Gandalf plot line, he comes to Earth in a meteor, he bugs about with the Fartfoots, which are the little hobbit girls. The more I think about it, the more he reminds me of the bloke on the album cover of um, Aqualung by Jethro Tull. So maybe we should call him Jethro Tull or just Aqualung. Anyway, uh, he's not in episode 6. Uh, someone else who went in episode 6 is um, Yorin and Belendrond, the Laurel and Hardy of the Rings of Power. They're not in it this week either. So the only thing that we get this week is the coming together of the two plot lines of Legolas the Brown and Guy Ladriel, Lady Boss, Captain Marvel. So just to recap, uh, Captain Marvel is obsessed with finding uh, her brother's killer uh, and she'd been hunting Sauron for ages didn't find him got packed off to west by uh, Phil Gay Dad the King of the Elves jumped ship ended up in Numenor which is Tolkien's Atlantis and we all know what happens to that uh, and now she's off to Southlands with Albran, Lentil, Zilda and Muriel is Zilda's sister Tit Zilda she's not in it this week either which is a shame. So elsewhere in the Southlands, Legolas the Brown uh, and his human girlfriend, uh, Bronwyn. And even though her name's Bronwyn, uh, she's not Welsh. Uh, she's from up north. For some reason, all the pe all the humans in this village, they all sound like they're going from Yorkshire. They've all been to the Sean Bean School of Acting. So Borwyn, we call her because she's got zero charisma. Like all the Lady Boss characters in this, Galadriel and Muriel and Borwin, none of them have got any charisma and she's got no chemistry with Legolas the Brown at all. So uh, Borwin, she's got uh, a son who reminds me of the Artful Dodger from Oliver. His name's Theo, but I call him Adric. And Adric finds uh, Sauron's death sword in Waldreg's barn. Waldreg is the landlord of the tavern in the village or something, I think. His real name should be Ballbag on the side of the uh, Radar or Gaydar or Dracula, the head of the orcs. And apparently he's an elf who got turned bad. Orcs are corrupted elves. Legolas the Brown and Borwin have found out that Adric has got the Death Sword and Dracula and his orcs are coming for the Death Sword. Uh, Adric gives it to him. Even though we don't see Adric watching Legolas the Brown hiding it because Legolas the Brown had it and he was gonna hide it. We don't see Adric watching Legolas the Brown hide it but Adric knows where it is and he gives it to Dracula. Then the fucking cavalry turn up, surprise surprise. How do they know where to go? How do they know that of all the places in the Southlands that the bad guys are going to be in that particular place. How do they know? Reason. Uh, Old Brand saves Lentil. Dracula rides off with the Death Sword and Captain Marvel follows him. And Old Brand somehow manages to head them off. He gets in front of them even though they set off before he did. How does he know where to go to head them off? How did he get ahead of them? Legolas the Brown has got the death sword still wrapped up in its hessian thing and he hands it to Adric who gets a bit gollumy over it and says well what you need to do is you need to give it to Queen Muriel and she can chuck it in the sea on her way home to Numenor. So Adric is unwrapping the death sword but surprise surprise it's just an ordinary axe that's inside it's not the death sword. Dracula's done a bait and switch a bit like this entire show and he's given it to Ballbag now Ballbag has somehow got himself up the mountains and he's doing a King Arthur with a sword, he's sticking it in the ground and that causes the dam 
that's holding back the lake to burst so the, the, the lake water flood all these channels and rivers and things eventually go into the it goes into the volcano which then explodes which apparently is Mount Doom so the volcano explodes and it blots out the sun and the orcs can live happily ever after in the dark and the whole place goes up you know there's, there's meat it's like it's volcano day it's like Pompeii but of course you know Galadriel her plot armor's intact as well and she'll survive without so much as a singe mark uh, in next week's episode so there's two episodes to go they still have to find Sauron and take him back to Numenor for him to destroy Numenor what bearing Aqualung and the Fartfoots have or Laurel and Hardy have on that I have no idea but we're nowhere near the forging of the Rings of Power and despite what people are saying about people try to play the game of who's Sauron I don't think any of the characters that we've been introduced to so far I don't think any of them are Sauron I think what's going to happen at the end of series one is all we're going to get is confirmation that Sauron is alive but then you know there's only two episodes to go and it's all so exciting I just can't wait